Details about Sunday's deadly car crash near Valley. Investigators now say none of the six people involved wore a seatbelt. That includes four people who died and two teens who survived. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Safety officials tell us it's a tragic reminder why you should buckle up every time. Reporter Emily Zink is live with reaction tonight. Emily. Well, guys, members of the National Safety Council of Nebraska say it's extremely hard to hear about tragedies on our roadways, but it's even harder to hear when people aren't wearing their seatbelts. You know, as an advocate involved in this, you sort of feel like you've been punched in the gut a little bit. Beverly Ranks, the president and CEO of the National Safety Council of Nebraska, says when it comes to deadly crashes in our state, 75% of those drivers and passengers weren't buckled. You know, we believe there needs to be not only just advocates talking about seatbelts, but we need teens talking to teens and parents talking to teens and just the general community talking about the need to wear their seatbelt and the fact that it can save your life. The Safety Council urges Nebraskans to buckle up. This year they targeted a highly impressionable group, high schoolers. They held a click it, don't risk it PSA contest. And Reich says with more than 12 million Twitter impressions from the campaign, it was a major success. Let's go, 2 new D, hurry up. Miller North students Aaron Gosh and Thomas Halber found out firsthand how buckling up can save your life. Lost control of the car and slid completely off the road sideways into a guardrail. I was driving and he was the passenger. Last August, the high school juniors were in a horrible crash on the way home from school. They entered their story in the PSA contest. My name's Aaron Gosh and this is where my seatbelt saved my life. Medics tell their friends that their seatbelt saved them. Now the two preach the importance of buckling up to their peers. Dude, put your seatbelt on. I mean, it, it's nothing. I mean, there's been people who get in my truck and I'm just like, put on your seatbelt. Like, the two boys just finished lacrosse practice at this field behind me. They won honorable mention in the PSA contest, earning them $500. With that $500, they donated it to their lacrosse team for new uniforms. Reporting live near 159th in Pacific, Emily Zink came to the Action 3 News. All right, really.